Hello students, now we are going to look at uh, this uh, thing uh, to solve the recurrence for factorial. Okay, So in this, you are given this pseudocode to compute the factorial and first of all you have to identify the basic operation. All right. So let's say if you want to compute f of 5 which is factorial of 5, what you are doing? You call this algorithm pass n equals 5 you come here you check 5 equals 0 no so you go to the else part and say return f of 5 minus 1 which is 4 times 5 so f of 5 is f of 4 times 5 so you call basically f of 4 you come over here and you check whether f of 4 is 0 no so you come to the else part and say return f of 4 minus 1 which is 3 times 4 so f of 4 is f of 3 times 4 so you keep doing this until you hit n is 0 then you return 1 so you see here this is called the basic condition or the terminal condition where you have a finite answer for your recurrence so then you can use this and really solve the higher level recurrences okay so f of 1 is going to be f of 0 which is 1 times 1 which is 1 and um, f of 2 is going to be f of 1 which is 1 times 2 which is 2 then f of 2 is uh, 2 so this is 2 times 3 which is 6 then this is going to be 6 times 4 which is 24 and this is going to be 120 all right so i can write a general recurrence like this f of n equals f of n minus 1 times n for n greater than 1 right basically we can write like this for any n greater than sorry n greater than or equal to 1 okay uh, then f of 0 is going to be 1 okay so f of n is f of n minus 1 times n for any get n greater than or equal to 1 and f of 0 is 1 so how to solve this recurrence relation all right so from this since this is whole this holds good for any n greater than or equal to 1 i can write simply f of n minus 1 is going to be f of n minus 2 times n minus 1 and then I can substitute for f of n minus 1 over here and say f of n is going to be f of n minus 2 times n minus 1 basically coming from f of n minus 1 plugged in this part times this n. Okay, so similarly I can now write f of n minus 2 as f of n minus 3 times n minus 2 and then say times n minus 1 times n. So I can keep doing that until I hit f of 0 times, <coughs> let me pull out this, times 1 because you see here this is uh, 1 less than this n. So f of 0 means f times 1. So f of 0 times 1 times 2 times 3 so on up to n minus 2 n minus 1 n. But I know f of 0 is 1 so it is 1 times 1 is 1 times 2 times 3 and so on up to n so this is nothing but your n factorial okay so now if you count the number of multiplications that you are doing here it's basically going to be how many multiplications if you want to compute f of 5 you're doing 1 2 3 4 5 multiplications so in general if you're doing computing f of 1 f of n you see it is 1 times 1 that's why it is a 1 so it should be ideally like this as I said so to compute n factorial you're doing theta of or really n n multiplications so that makes it to be theta of n right 